What is up YouTube? Today we are going to be installing this screen protector from LK on the Pixel 6 Pro. Now this is a TPU screen protector. I'm going to be using it for a while until they come up with some tempered glass options that I like. I'm hoping that Whitestone makes their dome glass protector for it. I've installed that on a Galaxy S21 Ultra. You can check out the video, the link above of that install if you're interested, but I really like that glass protector. I'm a big fan of glass protectors, but for now, this is what I could find. It looked like the best option out there, so I'm gonna get to it. So this is gonna have something to do with aligning the screen. It's gonna plug into your USB-C port, and that's just gonna help hold it on the bottom. They give you a little uh, rubber mat to hold underneath your phone as well. That'll keep it from sliding around. So this is gonna start like any other screen protector installation. You're gonna have a wet alcohol wipe and then a dry cloth and then a sticker to dab off any little bit of lint left over, dust and lint. So again, you can see there's two of everything here, except for this cloth. They're gonna have you reuse the cloth, which is no big deal there. Let's rip open one of these alcohol pads. So you're just wiping everything down really good. Wanna make sure we're getting all the fingerprints and everything off. Then you're gonna take the microfiber dry cloth. Then we are gonna take this sticker here. And this is just to dab any little specks of dust. You wanna look this over really good, try to hit the whole thing. And then look down it, see if you see anything you missed because this is your last chance to remove any of this before you put the protector on. If you miss one, you will end up with a bubble underneath because that speck will push it up just a little bit. Now we're gonna take the protector out of here. We're gonna line it up. There's the top at your camera. You can see the little notch and it's got Three little holes in the bottom that are going to go on this plastic tray down here. This is going to get everything lined up good. Make sure you're lined up with the camera. Now you're going to take this, start here. There's a line telling you where to start. I'll lift this up, grab the screen tab, and we are just going to peel and apply. We're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. Actually, you can remove this plastic piece before you lay down the bottom because the top's already aligned. Then we're gonna peel this protective layer off. I'm just going to go down the edge real quick and make sure the edge is stuck down real well. And that's that. There's no bubbles underneath, anything like that. Now it comes with a little camera protector. So that does feel like glass. I'm not sure. I'm not going to bend it because it, it feels like a tempered glass. So it'll probably snap if it is. But it's going to be the same directions pretty much. You're going to use that alcohol wipe. Wipe it off. 
I'm really not a fan of the camera protectors, but I'm gonna put it on there just to show you how. Dab. And then you can see it's gonna go so that this hole goes over your um, lens. And the reason is, it's also part of the reason why I don't like these protectors is if this glass covers the lens, if this glass covers the flash, it illuminates the whole thing when you take a picture and you end up with white pictures. And there is no alignment tray or anything, so I'm just kind of lining it up and dropping it on there. Then I might as well press it down with this from the middle out. I'm going to put two pictures on the screen real quick. The left one was taken in a dark room with the flash on and the glass protector on. The one on the right was taken in the same room with the light off with this off. Just so you can see what I'm talking about, how it really brightens up, whitens out your pictures. Pretty good looking screen protector. And let's try my thumb out here. So you can see it took a long time to unlock there. There's also a setting to turn on, which I don't believe I have on yet. You go down to, I believe it's in display. Increase touch sensitivity, improve touch when using screen protectors. So I'll turn that on. Let's turn this back off and let's try my thumbs again. And you see it opened on the first time there. Try it again, open right up. Try my left thumb, open right up. So it seems to be working good with the fingerprint scanner. Fairly easy install. Again, this is just a TPU screen protector. It's gonna protect you against scratches and stuff. I'm sure it gives some protection against cracking. I prefer tempered glass myself. That's my preference. So once they get one on the market that I like, I'll be doing a tempered glass screen protector. But in the meantime, I'm happy to have this one. I've had this phone sitting for about a week waiting for my case and my screen protector to come in because everything was back ordered. So thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. Have a good one.